All right, I'm going to make a quick uh, video. Someone asked me on the Inventables form uh, to show uh, some of the basic stuff uh, that I had to learn when, when I was learning too. Uh, and a video like this would have helped a lot. So uh, I have a little sheet on the forum, a little uh, instructional on how to use Work Zero, but I'll do it in a video. It's easier to learn in a video, in my opinion. Uh, so anyways, here's Hazel. Here, right here, we have the little corner of the grid. Okay, this grid is positive or back or negative, whatever the coordinates would be, but it's... Uh, away from the front of the machine in Y and away from the left side of the machine uh, in X. And I shouldn't say the machine because it's actually this part here is your bit when you zero uh, and easy way. At the end of the walkthrough it says set home position or use last home position. But uh, set home position is setting wherever that bit is on your wasteboard. Uh, is this point right here. Okay, how to move stuff around uh, using the coordinates. Here we have a uh, square here. We have size, okay, and we have a lock. When you hit the lock, it locks whatever ratio between the two in. Uh, it doesn't make them exactly the same. Uh, it locks the ratio, but since right now they are the same, if I turn it to 3, it's going to go to 3 by 3. If I turn this unlock it, turn this to a 2, and then lock it again. When I switch this to 1, you see it's proportional. Okay. So if we go 2 by 2. All right. Now we have this part here, position. This, okay, if you notice, this right here is the coordinates of this location on the object selected. So here we have... The easiest way to, to see this is a square, okay? So upper right most corner right here is at coordinates away from your zero, your set zero point, not the corner of the wasteboard. This right here does not equal this, okay, or wherever it homes to, okay? There's no relationship between the two, okay? So, uh, upper right corner right now on the grid, or in your coordinates away from uh, your home position, your set home position, and that's work zero. I know when we say home position, an easel, uh, I always thought that that was a bad choice of words in the walkthrough when they say set home position. It really should say set work zero position. Th that's really what it is. Okay. So... Here, the upper right corner is 3 inches uh, on the X and 3 inches uh, on the Y. If we switch to the lower left, it's now showing us coordinates for this corner. Center, right here. 2 inches over, 2 inches up. Um, it can be very handy. You can actually use it to measure, too, these coordinates. So if you need to know the distance between the center of this to the center of that, um, you, you can figure out using, you know, math and uh, just subtracting uh, easier when they're in the straight line anyways. Um, so here, if I want to change this guy, I'll lock it, change it to a half inch circle, and I want to move it to the upper right corner. I know it's at 3 and 3. All right, check, click on the center point there, move by the center point, and I'll type in 3 here. And three here and it moves it by the center point if I click three here and three here with it on the upper right corner the upper right corner moves to it now here's something to watch out for shapes uh, it's the upper right corner of the extreme outline of the shape sometimes the shapes see these little grips sometimes the the grips look like they're actually beyond Okay, beyond the uh, the shape, uh, on imported stuff it will do that, um, but it's not. It is the extreme center of the blue line. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The blue line represents the actual edge. The gray or the shades of black, shades of gray, um, 
equal what's being cut. Uh, so here we can switch over to the cut. This is your depth. The darker, the deeper. Okay. And then here we have, uh, we can switch it to paths. We have inside the circle. Okay, so we're cutting inside the circle. You're not going to really see it right now. My bit size over here is, a, is 0.016. It's for my Sharpie, and uh, I can demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, so anyways, here's uh, on path here. We'll just do on path, and we'll do on path here. Okay, we have two shapes. Um... Another thing real quick, material size up here. Uh, that is this dashed line. This represents uh, the piece that you're going to zero the bit on or whatnot. Uh, you can change that here. Um, it really doesn't matter. You, it doesn't restrain you from cutting outside. In fact, you can cut in the blue. Okay. Uh, I have noticed, though, if it gets too far away in the blue, okay, from this zero point, if it goes in the blue too far, and I want to say it was like 8 or 10 inches, or maybe even a little more than that, maybe it was like even 15 or 20 inches away from it, uh, negative, um, it will error out and it won't cut. Uh, so try to stay positive, um, but it's good for doing some, some basic shapes. Uh, you can center it. Okay, so uh, here... We have a circle, and I'm going to move the center of this circle, okay, to zero, zero. Okay, go to cut. We're going to turn off tabs because we are drawing. We are not cutting. Okay, and here, this rectangle, I'm going to put a rectangle here, and this rectangle will be positive from where we zero, uh, starting at 1, 1, and going to 3, 3, okay? Now we'll do a triangle, okay? We're going to do a triangle over to the left, and switch it to on path, cut it all the way deep. Uh, remember, I'm going to be drawing it. Uh, and anyways, right now we can say negative 3 inches. And it's still positive one. Okay. Then I'll do a star down here. Okay. And we'll center that puppy on negative two and negative one point seven five, just because it's hardly close to that. And I don't want to waste my ink. Um, okay. So here we have. You can see the shapes. Uh, I'll freehand something over here. Just because we can. Let's see what this looks like. That'll be fun. It should look exactly like that, technically. Okay, so here we have our shapes. We have a circle right where we're going to be uh, zero the bit. Square to the right, triangle to the left, star down and to the left, and this funny shape on the right here. Okay. Uh, I got this set up to do my pen work real fast. I uh, can't remember if I homed. No, I didn't. So we're going to home the machine real quick. And I move my bit... <laughs> over to the paper and uh, I'll show you exactly how that works okay we're gonna move it I can move mine an inch at a time in all directions and not worry about anything including the Z because I have a long ways to go okay so I'm gonna set my tip of my marker down Okay, there we are. And I am just going to see it here. It says confirm home. That really should be confirm work zero position. Okay, and this should say use last work zero position. 
but it doesn't. So anyways, uh, this this is also wrong. Zero machine, well, I should say if it was machine zero it would be, but... Okay, so confirm home. Uh, turn on spindle, sure. Because we don't have it on, so... Anyways, I'm going to send it. Now, what you're going to see is I put my zero point right here. That dot in the lower left corner of the grid is where I just set down my marker. Okay? Uh, that is the point. It is not over here. It is not the distance away from it. It is where you zero and set that home position. So now I'm going to hit carve, and you're going to see those shapes um, the same way they go in there. Okay? Oh, and you're going to see them if I set it down deep enough. Actually, I think my pen was just a little dry, dried out. Almost sounds like music, doesn't it? Sweet, it's riding on my tape. Okay. That's funny. It's kind of funny how it did that, huh? Oh well. Anyways, there's the shapes. Uh, I'm going to show you something else real quick. Uh, if you have a ton of stuff and something didn't carve right, but it's only a portion of it, you can do this. I can take a shape that's filled, okay, and actually, let's draw it freehand. It's going to be easier this way, okay? All of this right here... Uh, all this ended up uh, cunning already. I can take a fill shape like this, I can set it to zero depth, and it is not going to see that. In fact, let's see, that, oh, I guess I erased it. I had some other images up on top there that was at zero depth. But anyways, it didn't really draw this because my pen was uh, fresh, you can say. So we are going to go ahead and I'm going to show you something. Okay, first off, that's the only thing visible, so that's the only thing that's going to get cut or drawn. I'm going to go to Carve. All right. We're going to Confirm, Confirm, Confirm. Okay, but I'm going to do something here. First off, I'm going to move the Z up. Okay, and I'm going to move... Let's do it an inch at a time. I'm going to move it way over here way away from everything okay now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna say use last home position uh, it'll just ask you to turn on the spindle and then uh, you carve it's gonna move it to where it should go okay it goes down slow at first and then it goes over and it will start carving exactly what you want it to, and it's only going to do that square. That's it, you see? Just did the square. So there's uh, not only a little demonstration of how to move things around, um, what it means when you put stuff around that uh, that uh, dot in the, in the corner, the origin, okay? Uh, it's relationship to where you set the home and it's really it's work it's work home it's not uh it's not machine home okay machine home is when you home the machine and the thing ends up over here that is machine home this is work zero or work home they can call it i guess um but not only that i showed you also how to uh, cover up parts of a project that's also good if you have a really uh toolpath heavy uh, item uh, you can cheat if your machine is crashing, or at least you used to be able to, uh, by covering up half of it and only doing half of it, and then moving that cover-up part to the other part and carving the other half. So I hope this was helpful. I know it was long. Again, I I am not a professional at this. I'm just doing this to help a couple people out on the forum. If it helps, great. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, take care.